Hey guys, welcome back to A-Level Lessons. In this video, we're going to be looking at the next part of our resources for Team 2.2 for Human Geography, covering the characteristics of extractive industries today. So let's jump right in. So what are some of the characteristics of your extractive industries? Essentially, extractive industries are industries that are um, heavily involved in resources, involved in, let's say, minerals, mining, um, or, or, or those kind of uh, things to do with extraction. Right, of materials and resources. So first of all, um, naturally, they're going to have to be very, very specific in terms of its location because only certain resources can be found in certain areas. Right, You know that in uh, certain countries, certain regions, um, there may not even be certain resources present. So foreign firms will have to travel to these locations to extract the resources. Right, um, These industries are heavily localized. Right, So we look at industries that tend to be only found in certain regions, for instance, Africa. Right, so you look at a company, a TNC of De Beers, it controls most of the world's diamond resource in the Africa region. Right, as you guys know, Africa is a, is a region, it's a, um, it's a, it's a continent, it's an area that is heavily endowed with uh, natural resources. So naturally, a lot of these firms from your developed countries will travel over to um, the Africa region to set up their mining factories, their plants, um, in order to extract these resources. Secondly, it is capital and te technology intensive. When we are extracting a mineral, when we're extracting a resource, naturally we're going to need certain technology. We cannot possibly be using our hands to try and you know, pick out a diamond from um, underground. We're going to need to have those machines that drill the holes, those that extract the minerals itself. So they require specific infrastructure such as roads, machineries, and some of these are controlled by the government. So it's possible um, that government regulation can come into play over here to ensure that these, like for example, the construction of roads right, tends to be controlled by the government. So you realize that extractive industries, one characteristic is that they require um, a lot of machineries, a lot of technology to actually be able to extract the given resource. Next is that we look at a mixture of private and state-owned firms. So an extractive industry is an industry, meaning that it consists of um, you know, a bunch of different firms. Right? So we have got private firms, we also have state-owned firms. So we look at three types of relationship uh, over here. We look at state ownership and state exploitation, meaning that the benefits of extraction are shared by all citizens in the form of government revenue. So this relationship shows that the state-owned firm, meaning that the firm is owned by the state, extracts the resource, and whatever revenue is gained from selling that resource, they basically get to keep it, right? The government gets to keep it. On the other hand, we look at the case of state ownership, meaning that the state is in charge of the entire area, but we have a private firm, private exploitation. So this can occur when corporations, they pay a certain fee, or they are heavily regulated to extract a natural resource. So the TNCs or whoever they come in um, to extract and get the resource, but then they are charged a tax, for example, or they are regulated, for instance. The last case is going to be the worst case, right? The government basically has no control, right? It's when we have got private ownership and private exploitation, meaning that the government simply gives full ownership to the firm um, to control whatever resource it is, so they can exploit however much they want, right? They can make use of the entire land area to destroy it, to try and get the resources. So they are basically entitled to reaping all the profits. Government has no control. The, 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 the country itself usually will not stand to benefit, right? Because most of the revenue gain will be repatriated back to the developed country instead. So these are just uh, some of the characteristics. We look at a mixture of firms. So that's really the main characteristics that you need to know. Uh, I think it's a very straightforward lecture. You just need to be able to explain the various characteristics of extractive industries in the world, understand that they are found in certain areas, understand that there is um, certain uh, dynamic relationships between firms and the government, and uh, that should be all you have to know. So that's quite a short video for this one. I uh, hope you guys did learn something. If you did, as usual, uh, be sure to give this video a like. And subscribe if you're new here. It really does help the channel a lot. And if not, I'll see you guys in the next part. Um, and the future parts to come is a bit more 
uh, content heavy for those. We're looking at resource curves. We're looking at the impacts of extractive industries. So stay tuned for that. I'll be uploading them very, very soon. If not, I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a good one. Bye-bye.